Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is Travis from Chasing Anthems coming at you guys with another reaction video. Today, we're checking out kind of a twofer. I uh, stumbled across this video online, and I was like, holy cow, I did not know these guys were close. And so I went down the old YouTube rabbit hole and, and found a bunch of videos of these guys playing together. And I was pretty excited. Whenever you can mash up two duos that in their own lane are in the top of the game and just had crossed so many milestones musically um it's really special and to then to find out that they're friends and they they perform together which is pretty awesome there is some hilarious stories out there as well and i'm talking to other than jerry garcia and carlos santana um yeah i was watching some carlos santana videos describing their relationship and situations pretty funny stuff when you're done with this video i would definitely go down that rabbit hole and check it out because it's pretty pretty good but hey with that being said thank you guys so much for tuning in if you are new to the channel please uh subscribe hit the bell to be notified of future videos like comment share do all the kind of good stuff and then go check out original stuff links in the description box below let's get into this San Antonio, Texas, Steve Jordan. Hey. 
Awesome. You know what? That that really sums up to me. Uh, I think as a musician and uh, jamming with other guys, it just brings you back to those roots when you were a kid, playing in the garage, playing in your, you know your friend's bedroom or whatever, and you're just learning your craft, having fun, riffing off of each other, pushing each other, you know, doing trade offs, you know, check this riff out, and you know the kind of call and response stuff. It just really to me sums up at every level. It seems that this is our a musician's funnest favorite time is just jam sessions. And then when you can share that with an audience and people are excited and dance and sing, it just brings even that much more energy to it. But uh, getting back to uh, you know Jerry Garcia and, and uh, Carlos Santana, you know, let me know in the comments what rabbit hole should we go down? Should we go down the Grateful Dead rabbit hole, or should we go down Carlos Santana, or should we go down? Both, let me know. I'm gonna hear what videos you guys want to hear and to check out. Always give us links and recommendations below. But I would argue, in my opinion, Carlos has probably one of the most recognizable sounds. That dude could play one note and hold it out, and I can almost guarantee you that uh, you would recognize it as Carlos. That is a very unique thing to have that signature of a sound and style. And obviously, he's perfecting that. Has been perfecting that for quite some time. Um, it's also cool to see, I think this video was in 89, that he was rocking the PRS even back then. 
It seems to me that PRS has just continued to grow in popularity and becoming more and more players' choice. Um, definitely something I would like to add to my collection. So if you're watching, uh, Paul, you know, hit me up. I would love to play one of your guitars and uh, add it to my collection. But uh, anyway, it's pretty cool to see that he's had that loyalty for such a long time. You know, going on 30 plus years. I don't know actually when he started playing with them. So it's probably been well over 30 plus years. But anyway, it's pretty cool, pretty unique um, to go that route. Anyways, with that being said, thank you guys so much. Please consider subscribing. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Hey.